press conference post-match now with Thomas Tuchel here with us after the match of FC Bayern Munich against Real Madrid. Now it's our turn. Please, first question. Mr. Tuchel, how are you feeling with this draw 2-2? Two -two. Is this a fair result and how will you approach the second leg and what do you say to performance of uh, Kim? Well, the result is the result. It doesn't make any sense to discuss and uh, to spend too much time about it. Real Madrid has done it before, scoring two goals out of two chances. I mean, they had two chances each half plus uh, a penalty, and we are not the first team to which it helps uh, happened. They have uh, the quality, they are clinical, they have the patience to wait for it. We started very well in the first 10 15 minutes and then lost a little bit our rhythm and conceded a goal. So it was important to show a reaction. We lost the first half, the second half we won it in a phase period of time we were strong and could have strong scored the third one but we weren't precise enough not clinical and not clear enough we had enough chances to actually score the third but we didn't make it uh, and um, committed some errors some failures with uh, conceding the penalty it's like that it is what it is the situation is clear we don't have to think about if we have to make up we'll go there the winner takes it all we will be prepared we're ready for the fight and we'll try to perform with the same performance. I mean, you play four halves against Real Madrid, so there can, there can be one which isn't so good. So with the f 20, first 20, 30 minutes, we weren't so happy, and uh, but we're ready and uh, are full of faith or faithful to travel to Madrid. Mr. Tuchel, how close was Matthias de Licht? Well, he was there, but not on the bench. So what do you think? Again, he was as a civil person uh, in the Tribune, so I, I don't know in this. At the weekend, will you rotate before the return leg? Well, I don't know. An hour ago, the match just uh, finished. I don't know what we'll do at the weekend. You can ask me tomorrow. Mr. Tuchel, um, so you as a coach know how to win in Bernabeu. In 2022, you already did, and that winning was not enough to go next. So now, do you know how to win in Bernabeu with Bayern Munich, with this team? What do you think? It's not important if I know. It's important that we do and that we believe this will be the most important. But like I said, we, we, we want to take it in four steps. We did now two steps, and the next two halves will be step by step. And uh, of course, it's possible. It is still a 50-50 match. The result is totally even. I think we will be able to create chances in, in Bernabeu. Is it one of the most difficult places to win? Yes, but this is a challenge. It's the beauty of it. And it will be very, very difficult, but uh, we have 90 minutes, maybe 120 or maybe penalty penalties to put it to our side. What I like about it is that we have, uh, have a very clear situation um, about the result. We can forget the result and, and, and start from new. It's 0-0 zero, zero and, and uh, the goal is absolutely clear. We, we, we need to win. And um, this can be also helpful for, for the attitude how we go, but we, will, we need to be brave, we need to be um, full of confidence and, and of course at the same time very, very focused and, and clinical in our game. But yeah, let's see. Next one, please. Yeah. Hello. You set up in the first half, it seemed like you were playing more of a 4 2 2 2, and then that changed more to a 4 2 3 1 in the second half. Can you just talk me through your thinking there? Yeah. It's exactly like that. I think we started very well. We wanted, we had uh, uh, two strikers and, and two wingers in the first half, and we wanted to support with the uh, with the full backs. 
But then uh, after 15 minutes, I think Real Madrid dropped very deep with their wingers and defended almost in a back six. So it was difficult to um, to exploit the space behind the full backs into 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 the box, where we were strong in the in the beginning of the match. Um, then on top we conceded, so we lost our rhythm. We lost a bit the confidence to play through the gaps. We lost the speed in our passing. So second half we changed and had uh, more aggressive wingers, wider position, more wingers, and uh, and tried to be more aggressive in our passing and um, to speed up with more with dribblings uh, from from outside to the inside. So yeah, it, uh, it it was just my feeling that it could help us to to regain the rhythm because the game was for me too slow. It was a bit like too a bit too scared to not do a mistake, and then if the game is not fast enough to hurt. Real Madrid. So I um, was happy with the reaction um, we, because we played with more freedom and the game was more aggressive uh, offensively, and that helped us also to step up defensively. Unfortunately, in these moments where we were very good, we could not score the third one. Also from set pieces, we had two big chances. But okay, like I said, Real Madrid does this two teams, so we should not be too disappointed uh, for too long and um, go for for next match in, in, in one week. Then two Reihen höher, halb links, Klaus. Mr. Tuchel, mit dir Kim. He was part in both of the goal conceded. He came last season as the best defenders in Italy. What did he wrong there and how do you explain it? Well, just uh, two times he was too greedy, too early, made his first move along with Vinicius, the short move of Vinicius took that on and then was uh, in a sprint before the pass was played from Tony Kroos it was just too greedy from his side and then uh, yeah, he was caught on the counter and Tony Kroos was very aggressive with his pass he tried to win the ball but then the second he Against Rodrigo, we were five against two, numerical advantage. So we shouldn't have uh, defended so aggressively in this chance. And it was just too greedy in the situation. In the last moment, he was on the outside to the attacker. He turns around and then uh, when Eric Dyer wanted to help, then uh, he just caught him and threw him on the ground. He was just too greedy as I said so uh, the quality of the tackle was strong and at the end uh, we had a situation with Kane when he was tackled by a defender from Real Madrid where we didn't get the chance to get the foul, the clear foul it was a clear foul it should have be a penalty but uh, yeah, this happens we have to go through it and we continue um. Uh, you said uh, that uh, Serge Gnabry was going to, to score. Uh, why did you say that? And what do you expect about the match in Bernabeu? Thank you. He will score. It's only first half. So we have second half in Bernabeu and he will score. Okay. Then doch noch mal der Kicker, Mario Krischl. Leon Goretzka left the pitch. Is he injured or why did you take him off the pitch? Well, we wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, changed the positions and decided to put in Rafa to uh, have sprints into the box and Leon actually he played a lot of minutes in the last matches. He was fit. He was fit to play, and that's why he got the confidence from our side. But uh, I thought that with Rafa to have a smaller and uh, more agile player in combination with Jamal, this was the idea that we had at halftime. And Leon, of course, he will uh, be. Uh, Important for us. You spoke a lot to Leroy Zane. Can you describe how you experienced him and how did you like Konrad Leimer today? 
Connie was very strong. He just continued, kept up his high momentum. Um, like against the Frankfurt, he started at the beginning. Um, he bit his way through. He was very strong in midfield. And Leroy, on, with only six, seven weeks of individual training, um, I asked him to show more character on the pitch, but all understanding that uh, we sent him in without uh, having the right rhythm and training. And in the second half, he showed uh, a great, a great action. And this was all. Leroy Zamne in uh, at halftime, he didn't only drink tea, he continued actually on the pitch with different moves. Did he train for the action then? No, he just wanted to stay warm due of uh, because of the injury that he had. So he just wants to stay, he wanted to stay outside. Thank you very much. Safe travels.